Hello guys, welcome to AgriClarity and I welcome you all to today's episode where we will be discussing about the institutes related to horticulture. Now today we are going to do our session in a different way. I hope in your childhood when you were in your schools, so I, I hope that all of you have played this game wherein uh, we had to locate the places on our atlas on, our, on the map, isn't it? So we'll continue today's session in that way only where we will be locating the institutes of horticulture in the map of the respective states so i hope you like this session okay so let's begin then so first we are coming to himachal pradesh okay here today we were going to discuss only about the most important uh, institutes so first we'll see about the institutes which are there in himachal pradesh okay the first is central potato research institute so where is it located it is located in Shimla. Okay, so let's locate Central Potato Institute in Shimla. Right. Next, we'll see Directorate of Mushroom Research. Okay, so Directorate of Mushroom Research is located in Solan. So let's locate Directorate of Mushroom Research in Solan. So this is our Directorate of Mushroom Research. Okay. And here in Shimla, we have CPRI. That is Potato Research Institute, Central Potato Research Institute in Shimla. Next, we have Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology in Palampur. And Palampur is a small town in Kangra district. Okay, in Kangra district. So, therefore, Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology is in Kangra. So, here you have IHBT. Okay, here you have IHBT in Kangra, that is in Palampur. So, these are the main important uh, institutes of Himachal Pradesh. Okay, Central Potato Research Institute is in Shimla. Then, Directorate of Mushroom Research is in Solan. Okay, and Institute of Himalayan Bioresource Technology, it's in Kangra, Palampur, Kangra. Okay, I hope it is clear. Next, let's move to Karnataka. So, in Karnataka, uh, you know that... Uh, Karnataka and Kerala, these are very rich in what? Two specific crops. One is your plantation crops. Okay. One is your plantation crops. Okay. And another one is your um, spices. And uh, I mean, spices is more in uh, Kerala. So here we will not take spices. Here it's fruit crops in Karnataka. Andhra, Karnataka, here you will see fruit crops are very common. Okay, so accordingly, even you see the um, institutes which are located in Karnataka are also related to fruits and plantation crop only. Okay, so let's see here. The first one is uh, Central Erica Nut and Cocoa Marketing and Processing Cooperative Limited, CAMCO. Okay, the first one is CAMCO, which is located in Mangalore. So now let us uh, place CAMCO. Okay, let us place CAMCO in the map. So, Mangalore is in Dakshin Karnad, right? So, this will come in here. This one, Dakshin Karnad, Mangalore. Okay, next is what? Central Coffee Research Institute, CCRI. So, here we have located in Dakshin Karnad, Mangalore, we have located what? CAMCO. All right. Okay. So next we have a CCRI that is Central Coffee Research Institute. So Central Coffee Research Institute is located in Chikmagalur. Let's locate Central Coffee Research Institute in Chikmagalur. So this is what? This is your Chikmagalur. Okay. So in Chikmagalur, you have CCRI. Right. Okay. Then next we'll go for Central Food Technology Research Institute, which is located in Mysore. Okay. Central Food Research Institute located in Mysore. So let's locate this in Mysore. This one. Okay. So in Mysore, what you have got in Mysore, we have got is CFTRI. CFTRI in Mysore. Food Technological Research. Okay. Next, we'll go for Directorate of Coffee, uh, Cashew Research. Okay, Directorate of Cashew Research. It is in Puttur. Okay, and Puttur is also located in the district of Dakshin Kannad. So, along with Camco, we'll go for Directorate of Co uh, Cashew Research. 
so in dakshin kannada you have two one is camco other one is your directorate of cashew research that's in puttur next is indian institute of horticultural research one of the premier institutions of horticulture isn't it iihr so iihr is in bangalore iihr is in bangalore okay so in bangalore we have iihr this is what you know that iihr uh, okay now a question for you the varieties which are released from iihr what is the prefix that is used okay what is the prefix used for the varieties which are released from iihr comment it in the comment section okay comment it in the comment section right okay so from karnataka what we have seen number 1 in dakshin kannada district we have two one is in mangalore we have camco and in puttur we have directorate of cashew research okay next in chikmagalore we have coffee research institute then in mysore we have central food technological research institute and in bangalore what we have in bangalore we have or bangalore we have indian institute of horticultural research and i asked you a question that the varieties which are released from iihr what is the prefix that is used okay so this is about your karnataka wherein we have seen plantation uh, crops ke jo hai kuch uh, institutes right i hope this is clear to you so whenever you will see the map of bangalore now you can now easily locate ke kaun se jo institute hai wo kahan pe hai right all right so let's uh, move to next one kerala okay again in kerala i told you that it is also very rich in plantation crops and spices so from northern part to southern part will locate the different institutes which are there so first of all if you see is central plantation crops research institute cpcri it's in kasaragod so will locate cpcri in kasaragod okay so in kasaragod we have cpcr i okay cp cri in kasaragod central plantation crops research institute goes in kasaragod okay next is what next central tuber crops research institute which is city cri so where is city cri sri karyam tiruvananthapuram okay so let's look at city cri here city cri okay so central tuber crops research institute is in tiruvananthapuram all right okay next we'll go for directorate of arecanut and spices so that is in kalikat and kalikat is a uh, is located in the district of koikode okay so in kori koikode uh, you'll get kalikat that is directorate of arecanut and spices development d a s d so this is in kalikat all right okay next we have directorate of cashew and coconut development so in the previous one also in karnataka also we have seen directorate of cashew research where was it it was in puttur that is in dakshin karnataka right now this is directorate of cashew and coconut development is in kochi so where is kochi in which district kochi is in arnakulam so let's move directorate of cashew and coconut research in arnakulam right so here in arnakulam that is in kochi we have directorate of cashew and coconut research d c c d okay and directorate of cashew research dcr is in puttur of karnataka theek hai next let's move to indian cardamom research institute i c r i cardamom okay cardamom research institute that is i c r i is in mailadumpara and that is in uh iduki right so let's locate kadamam research institute in iduki here all right next is your indian institute of spices research again in kalikat so this will again go here all right so in here we have two institutes in kalikat indian institute of spices research okay so let's revise from north to south in north in kasaragod we have cp cri that is central plantation crops research institute next moving down from kasaragod in koikode kalikat we have two institutes one is your 
directorate of ericanut and spices development and another one is your indian institute of spices research again moving south we have ernakulam in ernakulam that is kochi we have directorate of cashew and coconut development okay and here if you see if we move to the east you have iduki so in iduki we have indian cardamom research institute then again moving to the extreme south in the southernmost district of Kerala, we have uh, this one, CTCRI, Central Tuber Crops Research Institute in Tiruvananthapuram. Okay. So, I hope it's clear. Next, let us move to Maharashtra. So, I have already located this. So, in Maharashtra, in the Pune district of Maharashtra, three important institutes are there. Directorate of Onion and Garlic Research, Directorate of Floricultural Research and National research institute uh, research center for grapes okay so these are all these three are all located in where these are located in the pune district of maharashtra okay it's located in the pune district of maharashtra next we have nrc for citrus so this is also it is located in what it's located in nagpur okay nrc for citrus is located in nagpur and next we have that nrc for pomegranate it is located in solapur Okay, NRC for pomegranate is located in Solapur. And Solapur is also a variety of pomegranate, isn't it? So, NRC for pomegranate is located in um, Solapur. And there is a variety of uh, pomegranate which is named from this very district, Solapur. Okay, Solapur is also the district where from maximum pomegranate is produced in our country. Okay, now one another question for you is that in uh, case of pomegranate one variety we have seen is solapur another variety if you see recently another variety has been uh, i mean solapur and this particular variety has been exported to us okay so which is this variety which is this variety solapur and which variety has been uh, pomegranates has been exported recently so answer it in the comment section one i have asked you okay uh, in case of iihr na when the varieties are released from IIHR, what is the prefix that is used? And another I have asked you right now that pomegranate variety, Solapur and which other variety has been recently exported. So this is from Maharashtra now. Uh, so in Pune, we have three institutes, Directorate Research of uh, Directorate of Onion and Garlic Research, Directorate of Floriculture Research and NRC for Grapes. Then in Nagpur, we have NRC for Citrus and in Solapur, we have NRC for Pomegranate. Okay, right. Now, let's move to the next one is Rajasthan. Okay. Again, now see, Rajasthan, since it is, uh, you know, in uh, Rajasthan, since it is arid semi arid regions, isn't it? Arid and semi arid region. So, obviously, the institutes which are located in this particular uh, state will also be related somewhat to that only, isn't it? Right. So, first we'll go for Central Institute of arid horticulture ciah so central institute of arid horticulture is located in bikaner okay central institute of arid horticulture is in bikaner next is central arid zone research institute kazri okay so kazri is located in jodhpur right kazri is located in jodhpur and next we have is nrc for seed spices Okay, Indian Institute of Seed Spices, we have seen in Calicut, Kerala. And this one, NRC for Seed Spices, this is located in Ajmer. Okay, it's located in Ajmer. So, these are the three important institutes in Rajasthan. Central Institute of Arid Horticulture, that's in Bikaner. Then Central Arid Zone Research Institute, Kazri, is in Jodhpur. And NRC for Seed Spices is in Ajmer. Okay, I hope it is clear. Next, let's move to UP. All right. So in Uttar Pradesh, if you see, one is your National Botanical Research Institute, right? National Botanical Research Institute. So this is located where? It's located in Lucknow. Where is Lucknow? This one. Okay. So this is Lucknow. Okay. Next is Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants, CMAP. CMAP is also located in Lucknow and Central Institute of Subtropical Horticulture, CISH, this is also located in Lucknow. So there is this three institutes which are located in Lucknow. Okay. So that is your NBRI, then CMAP and CISH. All three are located in Lucknow. All three located in Lucknow. All right. 
Next, I I I V R Indian Institute of Vegetables Research. So it is located where? It's located in Varanasi. So where is Varanasi here? Okay. So this is Varanasi, right? So in the central part of uh, UP in Lucknow, we have three institutes. That is NBRI, CMAP, and CISH, and IV IIVR. That is Indian Institute of Vegetable Research. It's in located in Varanasi. Okay, it's located in Varanasi. So I hope this is also very clear. So if you study in this way, it will be interesting. Okay, if you try to locate the institutes and uh, next try to find out, uh, take out the India map, okay, and try to locate the different institutes which are there. Okay, then it, you will be able to remember, you will be able to, uh, you know, relate and this will become a very interesting way to remember also. Okay, so now you your job is to tell me which institute is located in your state? Okay, and next, what you can do that you can take out a map like this, and then you can uh, locate the different institutes which are there. Right? Gujarat me kya hai, Madhya Pradesh me kya hai, Maharashtra me kya hai, Telangana me kya hai, Odisha me kya hai, Meghalaya me kya hai. In this way, you can just locate the different institutes related to anything. It may be animal husbandry, it may be fisheries. Okay, so then it will become very easy for you to remember. Okay, because when we visualize the thing, we remember more. Okay. When we listen and visualize the thing, we remember more. So simply table me agar ap padoge, to shayad utna yad na rahe. Lekin if you locate it into the map, you will remember forever. Okay. So I hope this session was interesting. I hope you have learned something. I hope you have learned a new way of reading or studying. Okay. Which is interesting. And which also relates to our childhood. Right. So with this, I'll end today's session. Thank you, everyone.